Opening up an application from the GUI in Linux is really no different than most modern operating systems. It's just point and click. So let's go ahead and open up the Firefox browser now and test that out and go to google.com. And as you can see, it's really just the same as any other browser in any other operating system. Next, let's go and try and working with one of the most basic tasks on a computer, text editing. So we'll go to accessories and then select the text editor and enter in some text. Once the application loads, we just hit our keyboard a couple times and hopefully something legible comes out and that's pretty much it, pretty straightforward. From here, we can hit the little X and close the application if we'd like. So let's try opening up another application now and we'll use the application finder this time where we can actually search. We'll search for a calculator here and see how that works out. Note that if we hover our mouse over the application icon for a little bit, we actually get some details about the program itself and where it's located on disk. We can close that application now and let's try opening up a folder from the desktop itself. We can double click on the home folder here at the top left. And let's say that we want to actually create a folder here. So we can right click anywhere in that white space and a drop down menu opens up with more features. In this case, let's actually make a folder in the desktop folder itself. So we'll want to go and double click the desktop folder and then inside here, right click, select new folder. And let's call this anything we'd like. We can go ahead and call it something like testing and hit create. So notice something interesting when the folder was made inside of this little application window, it actually appeared on the desktop itself. So the desktop folder is actually just a representation of what you're seeing on the desktop itself behind this application window. Now let's open it up the same way that we just did. We can double click that testing folder and now we're actually inside of it, inside of the desktop itself. Let's close that window now and let's open up the testing folder from within inside of the previous application window that we had open. And we don't have to always close the application window whenever we want to get to a new folder. We could actually go backwards. And in this case, that means actually going up the directory. If we select the gray desktop button in the title bar, it'll actually bring us right back up one level. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and try to delete a folder. We can right click it and a longer list of menu options will appear. In this case, we want to just go ahead and select move to trash. And right as we do, we can actually undo that. There's a little prompt that we can select. It'll bring the folder right back. All right, now that the folder's back, let's actually inspect the properties of it a little bit more. We'll right click again and then select properties at the bottom. Now in this window, we actually get property information, believe it or not. And we get this of the given object. In this case, it's a folder. And we also get to know where it's actually located on the disk. We can also view the permissions of the folder itself in this case. We'll explore this a little bit later on once we're more comfortable with Linux, but for all intents and purposes, just consider this point that there are actually just three tiers of permissions. There's the owner, group, and others, or everyone. And from the properties menu, we can actually share the folder here as well. Inside of the local network share tab, we can decide if we want to share this folder with other users on our network. Okay, now let's go back and work with files once more. Let's go ahead and open back up that text editor that we had previously, and we're going to create a file and we're gonna save the file once we're done with it. Let's go and put in some very top secret text inside of here that we don't want anyone else to read. And then we wanna hit save. And now this is a bit of a different window. This actually is a glimpse of all of the folders within our Linux operating system. Everything that's on disk right here. And now notice that forward slash. That forward slash is actually the root directory of the file system. It's the top level directory where all other directories and files are organized and live further from. Consider that all other directories and files are located within this root directory or its subdirectories further from here. Okay, so let's say we want to save this file that we just made inside of that testing folder. We're gonna have to go to the home directory and then we can go to our desktop, then we can go inside of testing, and then from inside here, we can now save this document. We can give it a equally private name of nothing to see here. Perfect. So now we can actually see that file populate inside of that testing folder in the background.
And now let's go ahead and look at some of the default properties of this new file that we created and saved. We can see that it's actually given a type. So this is a plain text document. Now if we look at permissions, files created by us, by default, read and write, access by us, and then read only by everyone else. And then finally, there's this open with tab, and that's a little bit different than what we saw with the folder. Inside of here, we can actually choose the default software to open up this file type. In this case, we can see that a text editor is the default application, but if we'd like, we could change that to anything else that we would like. And with that, that's an intro to working with files and folders on the desktop. So let's go and delete what we've done actually right now and clean up our working space. And note that these cleanup steps are optional. I do recommend and encourage them just to keep your working space clean because we're gonna be covering a lot of ground in this module, creating a lot of different files and folders and doing things. So having a nice clean working space is always the most efficient. And once again, that's it. That's basically working with files and folders in Linux. It's pretty simple. We'll see you in the next one.